The first time I was told about the importance of hat wearing to church on Sundays was when my mother-in-law was trying to teach me how to properly wear my hat. As she would so often say, Honey, attitude is a big part of a lady's beauty. One day you will inherit all of my hats, so you'd better learn how to wear them properly. She was one of the proud practitioners of a great African-American tradition the wearing of elegant, fanciful, exotic, creative, glorious hats to church. Before all those landmark changes of the 1960s, it was much more common for women to cover their heads in congregations of all kinds. For all their special flair, though, church hats weren't viewed as fashion statements then. In many religious denominations, women must cover their heads during worship. Although a simple kerchief or Kleenex could suffice, and often did in a pinch, few God-fearing Christians ever entered a church with anything less than a proper hat. Nevertheless, there was more to the hats in black churches than mere fashion. This is part of the distinction between the workday world and that whole Sunday go-to-meeting tradition. If your whole week was ruled by uniforms and aprons and work clothes and boots, then you kept one good suit and kept one really nice dress. And if the culture says that ladies are supposed to cover their heads, and the culture certainly said that the Bible said that you're supposed to do that, well, then that meant that you needed a hat. And if you needed a hat and it was Sunday, well, then you needed a Sunday hat, of course. So the hats became more and more elaborate, to say the least. On one level, this symbolized reverence for God. It also displayed respect for the church and for the authority of the elders. But there was one more level to this tradition, a hunger for beauty and for self-respect. Self-respect before the larger part of society in the generations leading up to the civil rights movement. Hats are crowning glory to God. Our mothers and grandmothers used to tell those of us that were too young to understand such a tradition that required us to cover well-primped hairdos that took hours of hot combing and curling. And as church elders in small towns still whisper to young ladies today, God's light shines down upon us, so we're going to look our best for him, ain't we, sweetie? Well, it turns out that I did inherit the whole collection of my mother-in-law's hats, so now I can braid my very own collection of fancy hats. Besides, as I like to tell my friends, God is awful busy on Sunday morning, so I just want to make sure that I'm wearing something that might catch his eye. Yeah.